Hey guys, I wanted to do a little update on this uh, ecosphere. Turn the light on here. Um, so, uh, my last video was the first or second day of it being here at UCF. I originally had it positioned there where the soldering arm is. And uh, the problem with that is that it was getting too much light with the window and the artificial light I got there. And as you can see, an algae bloom occurred. Uh, this was about, I don't know, I mean, it started fogging up almost immediately. And then it's been pretty much opaque like that, or not opaque, but uh, translucent like that for about a week or two, uh, however, however long it's been here. Um, so what I did is I moved it, I gave it some time to see if it would just settle down. Um, Normally in an aquarium you can do that because you have a filter and you can do water changes and you can remove extra nutrients. This is a closed system, so there's going to be none of that. So the only other factor, in fact the only factor other than temperature that I can control, is light. So I decided to move it away from the window. I turned down the lamp from uh, its normal 14 hour cycle, or no, excuse me, its normal 16 hour cycle on um, down to just 12 and 12. So that allows for a more natural light uh, duration. And it's also thinned out the algae a bit. Now the little plants up here, the duckweed is suffering a little bit. As you can see, there's some spots that are actually open. Um, so that'll survive. I'm not worried about that dying out because that's one of the most hardy things in here. Um, what I am concerned about is the algae itself when it dies consuming all the oxygen um, not not the algae but the the other organisms in there that decompose uh, dead material because we have some of these that are dying okay there we go uh, a, lot, a lot of those that are dying um, obviously all that phytoplankton is going to die and it's going to drop to the bottom and something is going to decompose it uh, so originally when that happened when the algae bloom initially happened, the uh, all the algae on the sides completely just died off. Um, I guess because it was pushing for light or nutrients or what, but that all died off. And as, as you can see now, how it looks kind of foggy there. That's actually algae on the side growing back. So like I have no problem with algae on the sides because number one, I have snails that like to eat it, and also I have a little scrubby. So I have absolutely no problem with algae growing on the sides or the rocks. I just don't like the phytoplankton. It's perfectly healthy. This is not like blue algae, so it's not creating any toxins. In fact, this is just adding more oxygen to the system. Um, which brings up another problem, is that with this much, it seems to be doing fine because of the air pocket, but with this much algae, uh, when it goes through cellular respiration at night, it can drown it out of oxygen or suffocate it. So. That's yet to happen. I've yet to see anything die. In fact, the shrimp are multiplying like crazy because their main diet is phytoplankton. So they are multiplying crazily. So I'm thinking they'll multiply, consume this, or whatever, whatever is causing this to die out or thin out. It's thinning out a bit because I can see the stick again. I couldn't even see that stick before. So. This is the second day I've started to see it thin out a little bit. Should be fully clear again, I'd assume within like a couple of days or a week. Um, I'll definitely make an update video when that happens, if that happens. Um, but what I'm, I'm just presuming at this point, or hypothesizing, what I'm thinking will happen is uh, the shrimp and other animal things in there, the anthropods, um, all the little microscopic, there's little like fleas and stuff in there. All that stuff's consuming to chow down on this phytoplankton to the point where they outnumber, or they, they out, um, not outproduce, they outconsume the algae before it can reproduce. At that point, they're going to run out of food. Some of them are going to die off. And then you might have a minor bloom come back because of the, the death of those producing more nutrients and CO2. Um, so it's, I think it's right now it's the algae's up here. So I think, like I okay, said, so uh, animals, algae, I think the, the balance is like this. It's going to come down and then it's going to drop and then it's just going to kind of cycle 
and hopefully we'll hit some kind of um, you know balance. So anyway, that's the little update. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but it's kind of cool where the holes are in the top. You can see the little rays coming through the water. Okay, yeah, you can see that. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. But yep, yeah, I've been busy, 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 busy with school. I haven't really been paying attention to this, but that's what's going on. Oh, and also another important thing: um, the snail stopped laying eggs, but there is another snail in here now. One of out of the thousand eggs it laid. At least one of them survived long enough to develop a shell, and it's it's in here somewhere. I saw it just earlier today, so everything seems to be doing good on this. So I will keep you guys updated when it's not looking like a swamp hole. So yep, more videos to come.